Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today is day four of Art Impressions Week and I'm going to be using the Birthday Circlet Trifold Set. It has a stamp set and the coordinating dies that you need to create the entire project. So the first thing I'm going to do is take everything out of the packaging and take a look at the instructions that are included. The first thing it says to do is to cut some cardstock to 4 inches by 11 inches. Now I eventually want to color this card using some watercolor markers and those work best on Bristol paper. So I'm going to cut out some Strathmore Bristol paper to 4 by 11 and then score at 3 and 5 eighths as instructed on the packaging. So I'm just scoring these at 3 and 5 eighths and then I'm going to give it a good fold and make sure it folds easily. Now my three panels were almost too precisely the same size so I did end up having to trim the two outer panels just a tiny tiny bit. I think I probably took about a sixteenth of an inch off of each end and this is going to allow each of those panels to fold in a little bit easier and not have any buckling or gapping once everything is folded up tight. It's nice and flat. So I'm going to do some stamping now and I'm determining which is the front panel and that's this one right here. So I'll go ahead and open it up and place it into my MISTI stamp positioning tool. I'm using a MISTI in particular for this just because you need really precise placement so that all three of these stamps and cutouts line up in the right spot. I'm stamping with VersaFine Onyx Black ink, which is a waterproof pigment ink, so it's going to work great with the watercolor markers that I'm planning to use today. So I'm stamping that down, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the die cutting. So that comes with two dies, and it has these little connectors on it so that it cuts out all the little spaces in between the images. So you want to make sure that you only cut, like, you know, separate the dies that are supposed to be separated when you, when you, uh, first get the set. So I taped it down using some blue pa painters tape just so it stayed in place and I ran it through my Big Shot machine. And now I'm going to work on the next panel in. So I folded up the card for how it will be finished and I'm going to take a pencil and trace around the cut area that I just did with the die. This is going to give me a good uh, idea of where the next stamp needs to be. So I'm just going to pencil this in really lightly. After I unfold this, you can see where that like outer edge of the circle will be. So I'm going to put this in my MISTI and I'm going to put the magnet in so it stays in the same spot. And I'm going to position that stamp directly over the top, exactly where I want it. And before I stamp, I'm going to go ahead and erase all of those pencil lines. I have my stamp already on the door of my MISTI. It's already in the right position, so I'm safe to go ahead and erase those guidelines. I'm going to use the same ink, ink up my stamp, and then I'll swing that door over and it will stamp it in the exact spot to go behind that first panel that I've already die cut. I'm going to take the second die that comes with this project kit and I'm going to position it over the top and use a little bit of tape and I'll run that through my die cutting machine. So now I have both of these panels cut out and I'm going to sort of repeat the same steps for the last center panel. Carefully removing that tape, making sure that I don't tear the paper. No tearing here, I didn't have any problems. So I'm going to go ahead and fold in that second panel and once again I'll use my pencil to trace the edges of that die cut area. And this one in particular gives me a nice um, kind of outer shape that I need to line up that final stamp so it works out really well. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did before and position the stamp and put it on the door of my MISTI and then I'm going to go ahead and take my pencil and erase all of those lines. This just makes it so I don't have to worry about smearing any ink when I go to erase the lines later. I'm going to erase them first. So I'm stamping down in that same ink which once again is VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I thought I'd just give you guys a little note here that um, I've gone back to using my stamp chamois from Lawn Fawn. It just cleans up my stamps really well and it's been really, really nice and I've been using that recently and I thought I'd just mention that in case any of you are wondering how I'm cleaning my stamps currently. 
So now I have the basics of this card design finished. I mostly just need to color everything. And to make sure that I kind of coordinate with the envelope that I have planned, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the pattern paper I'm gonna use for the envelope. I'm using the Really Rainbow Collection Pack from Lawn Fawn. This is some 12 by 12 paper and I love these papers, they're so colorful. So I've picked out some marker colors that are kind of in those same rainbow shades and I'm going to be coloring this entire card. These are some watercolor pens from Arteza and I'm going to go ahead and turn on some music and speed up the coloring and I'll catch you when it's complete. So I'm just wrapping up all of that coloring. I'm gonna darken up that cake image right there on the second panel first, and then this card is complete. So I really love how this turned out, how it has that dimension when the card is closed. So I'm going back to that really rainbow collection pack from Lawn Fawn, and I've picked out one of the patterns. It goes really well with all of the colors that I've chosen. And I'm going to be creating an envelope using the 123 punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. I'm going to first look up my card size, which is about just under 4x4. So I found the 4x4 area on this chart, and it says to make my paper size 7x7, and I'll punch at the 3.5 line. So I'm putting my paper inside the punch area, and I've lined up the left edge with the 3.5 and then I'm using the score line A with my bone folder and then I'll punch that punch up at the top. I'm gonna to do the same thing on all four sides. The only thing you have to remember is that you're going to line up that score line that you've done in the previous turn with, the, with like the scoring line on the left hand side. In this case, because I'm making a square envelope, all of them are basically going to line up at that three and a half mark. I'll go ahead and score this last one and punch that last corner. And then I'm going to take the uh, sharp corners on this piece of cardstock and I'm going to punch them with the rounder. So it's that top kind of segment of the circle punch. Just put that in there and I'll round all four corners. 
I'm going to take some adhesive and assemble this card or this envelope, excuse me. But um, first I'm going to fold down everything and kind of get an idea of where the colors are going to land once all of those flaps are folded down so that I can decide how I want this envelope to be put together. So I decided I wanted the two kind of blue corners to be on the bottom area or kind of together on the one side. So I'm putting adhesive on one flap. This is going to be the flap that folds up and I'm making sure I have adhesive all the way up to that corner. Sometimes when you're making envelopes that that area is exposed. So I didn't put adhesive there just in case, but in this one, because it is a square envelope, it's not going to be exposed. It will adhere directly down onto those side flaps. The adhesive I'm using today is some Express It tape. So I'll just go ahead and fold in those corner flaps and press down. And now I have the basic envelope created. So I'm gonna take my card that I've created and I'm gonna slide that inside the envelope so I can see how it all fits together. Plenty of room inside. And then I can fold down that flap and it's the perfect size card to go along with a gift. So that is day four of Art Impressions Week. Hope you guys find this card inspiring. They have a few different designs with this kind of same concept, these mini circlet project kits. Thanks so much for watching today. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow for day five of Art Impressions Week. Thanks so much for watching.